G'day and welcome back to our Cradle of Nightmares campaign. It's probably going to be the finale, this one. I know it's uh, still about eight years left, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to finish it in this one. We are going to get to war with Ming, and that'll be our last war. So let's go through Lanar to do it. Uh, declare that. And go for it. I'm not going to bother waiting for the guys to finish their cause. And this lone dude can ignore them and... Make his way over there, maybe. If we're going to hit somebody going that way. Try that. Um, these guys will kill them before he gets over. So that's all good. And these guys are going to run in. And one of them will run back out. So I want to see this 94 stack just fold here. Taking a few hits in the middle there. Yeah. Didn't do as well as I was hoping, but sure. And trading in tea happens. All our guys are 555, yep. And we're nearly launching into space. Oh, we lost more stability. And yeah, we don't want to buy it up. It's fine. Alright, um, where's his capital these days? Let's go over there. Take it back from the Ming revolutionaries. Alright, got this one. We will get started doing these. We need 12,000 men. How many come in? 4,000 each month. Alright. Hindu zealots. And Kiev. Yeah, all our guys are going to be dying. Still got a lot of Von Habsburgs out there. And that's going to be a problem, because this guy, well, it's right next door. Alright, Manipur. Go kill them in Bhutan. Hmm. Oh yeah, forgot the other guy. He can head north, actually. Head to Da Zhao. Nope, Hanjong. Catch them in the mountains. And yeah, absolutely slaughter them in the mountains. Um, yep, yeah, quarantine port. <laughs> Another dead army. Bringing Dai Viet in a little late. No, it wasn't Dai Viet we do, it was uh, Lenar, wasn't it? Alright, but when we get to defend in the mountains, they all die. So, Bhutan, all good. Let's get back over here. So, what are we at with Ming at the moment? 13%. Um, we'll keep them together. We'll ignore the rebel provinces. Uh, I think all that we want in this one is Ningbo. And, I don't know, who we give this to? Not Milan. Who was the one that I always forget? Actually, we can give this to... Gascony. Forget that it's on the coast and we've got all the other guys here. Alright, Janning is good. Alright, is this getting shorter? Should I finish it by the end? And bring out Severus one more time. Alright, a lot of Ming's down there. And this guy's done, so he should head over there and be useful. Um, we're going to have to kill them. Ooh, first. We'll kill them in the farmlands with the 4-6. We haven't caught him. Yeah, it's got to be just the artillery that's doing that much damage. And they're in the hills there. No, we were in the hills before. It's fine. And they'll probably come down this way. Hey, bud. 
not chasing you all the way, but um, it's probably stopping around here. Alright, we'll attack him in the hills. Alright, infiltrated Valakia to find out that he's going bankrupt, no doubt. Savoy's going to attack him. Back him up, because he's not going to win that one. Ooh, nearly. Lost his entire army, though. So I'll get a bit of payback, hopefully. No, took too long. Uh, let's come over this way. He's got to be near there somewhere, doesn't he? keep going. Alright. Well, let's say we're about halfway there. Um, start taking these jungle ones. We could end up with half a million ducats too. Alright, um, come over the other side. Oh, we got these guys here. Could chase that little arm. Who killed our guy? Dirty tactics. Alright, and cafe 49. So, yeah, this was the one that we wanted. Um, should probably also polish this area off. That has to go to either Normandy or Gascony. And they can, Normandy can have it this time around. That we have to obviously get over there. Catch the little guys and then we'll. Ha, <laughs> good. Alright, we'll go over there and then we'll come back. Still trying to form up more dudes. A bit slow, guys. And you're cornered. Alright. Got them without too much trouble. There's our last tech. Good. So we need to build up our admin because we're going to do a lot of coring. Um, we don't need military anymore, so yeah, switch that out. 17.4. That's actually the exact maximum you can get. Six from there, five from there, three from the focus, one from power projection. Cool. Alright, and let's go over this way. I guess it doesn't really matter which one, but go take provinces back from there. So we're on 70. If we take that, we would also want to take probably whatever's cheapest. No. Well, can't take a great deal. We can get this. We could get more. If we gave it to other people, but um, or just rather make sure that it gets caught. And we're down to zero. What is our mission? We actually thought about that for ages. The dreaded Turk. All right, let's cancel that. <laughs> How long has that been the mission? The one is that. Ming have a level 8 fort. Since frickin' when? Alright. Don't go anywhere. You stand there. Cheeky bastards. Must have built it. Okay. Well, we'll take it. Um. Yeah, we need to take that. Which means we can give up that one. Uh, we 
we're doing them. Don't have to do that little one. Still can't get in. Damn it. One at Rebagong. Puts us on 92 and then push in a little bit further for 98. Alright, who's the guy? Oh, no. Oh, lots of Ming down there. Um, let's come through. Oscar is only a 3-4. This is mountains, so that's a pretty bad idea. Let's go into the jungle. And Lifflin, no. Oh, really, buddy? This jungle we're going in. Alright, Japan seeds bunch of stuff to Korea. Wow, he really screwed up that nationalist or imperialist war or whatever it was. Right, there goes Luo Yang. Um, there's not much left to do. He goes there, he goes there. It's going to be a close one because of the jungle. And because our guy isn't as good as we would hope. <laughs> Trying to rush in in time. We've just made it. Okay, lost crazy numbers of troops there. And Livonian Liberty Desire needs to come down. Alright, peace of Ming. Australia is declared war on France again before they uh, got him out of Wadjuk. They want to go retake Carnarvon. Alright. Ming are pretty well full occupied. So, we're allowed to do this now. Um, if we don't do this one, and we get an 8. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Send that. So yeah, we probably could have got 2 or 3 extra provinces out if we'd handed everything over to other people. But, happy with this. We actually don't have the points to core. Whoops. And Livonians and Bohemians. Could actually just improve with them. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Livonia. Improve relations. And if we go home and look at Bohemia on our northern border there, we'll improve with them. We've just done royal marriage. Alright, tax them. Wouldn't accept a royal marriage anymore. Disloyal attitude. Yeah, fair enough. We'll become loyal soon enough. Alright, uh, actually, what are we doing with these guys? Chiang Rai. We'll give this one to maybe Frankfurt if he's not. I mean, he's pretty overextended. Um, Saxony. Saxony is looking good. Alright, Saxony, you get this. Uh, Saxons. Alright, didn't they have Nan as well? Take 22 ducats. And we're back a piece. So, we have no uh, war exhaustion. Pretty sure everyone else had tons of it. And you know, there's a few more problems there. So, first question, would everyone accept? Yes, they would. So, wait for coring to finish. Reactionary reforms of 1789. He was a controversial ruler. Okay. That's a few. Um, don't really want to lose the points. We want to gain it, then, because we need it right now for doing the rest of these. So, what are you saying? Missionaries in Hammy. Missionary. Right. Let's call those missionaries back. Uh, Hammy, Yemen, and Side Dam, I assume it was. Good. Alright, marry, 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 marry. Rebel Uprising. Australia and France want our condottieri. 
Alright, and Florida and New Castillo. Actually, we want to do a war against Portugal again, too. Alright, declare this. Um, break the truce. We can't make up for it, but sure. Back to war once more, and that'll be the end of, well, everything in the Americas. Cool. All white except for uh, Norman Brazil, which will come over to us when we inherit them. All right, what was it doing? New Castile and Florida. Um, New... New Castile. All right, I renamed him. Wasn't that Castilian Mexico? All good. Actually, once some of our overextension goes away, that should help out. And what do we have here? Revolution. True, it's the first time we've actually been on negative stability. Gets to really up to three, and that'll stop. It's on zero anyway. Aspiration for liberty. Same thing with the stability. That's stopped. Pull that down. Um, internal conflicts. Stability less than zero is making that go up. Less religious unity than 100%. <clears throat> Alright, unrest lower than zero. Overextension is a big chunk of that. And problem marriages keep ending. Alright, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, that's fine. And stability is low, but haven't we finished doing them? We have. So let's boost this. Portugal, white piece, Hindustan. Can't blame them. So, we've taken all his forts, he's just got that. Level 1. Declaration of Indulgence Act. No. Um, reduce overextension. Yes, that is our goal by the end of the game. And we're not going to be able to do the Cocos Islands. Damn, we can do everything else though. Alright, that's a huge stack of men there. Let's assault it. <laughs> That's crazy losses. And to them. And let's get back up there. And they're done. We're only on 77. They must have other stuff around the place. Azores. Oh, Goa. Never got. Uh, don't know how Hindustan never took Goa. Oh, take Tamaroa. And the problem with this is just the annexation thing. Alright, otherwise, can anybody reach down there? Black Flagger. We'll have access. So we come up through here and then down Goa. And, I don't know, put in Auto. You yeah, get there before too long. Is this uh, Hindustan's? Yep. And Royal Marriage with England is over. He's 29. Any chance of getting Habsburgs on his throne, naturally. Elizabeth Plantagenet would become von Habsburg. Alright, lost the Siege of Zealand. Allegedly. Geldum's in fighting Saxon heretics. Or separatists. Or what are they? Yeah, Saxon Separatists. From... From us. Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, Bohemia should have been inherited. We had to pay you on them. Um, that was the only other one, wasn't it? We had Castile, Aragon, Hungary, Sweden, which was just incredible luck that we got that. Um, we were going to get one on Bohemia, but we paced out before we could. We would have been able to do it now. Hmm. And Bar Lorraine and Gascony got nice chunks of France in the end. 
Um, we did do Flanders. That was all cool. Alright, everyone's heading back. And Portugal, how are we looking? Getting close. And how are we looking on over extension? Alright, we've got to wait until 1818, so we might as well play out until the end. Rebel successful. And Würzburg. Alright, well, if we're just waiting for course, let's go speed 5. Actually, we're waiting for uh, Portugal to decide. They're ready to peace out. They have an army. They have a little army. Hindu sand. Except a piece of Transoxiana. Oh, I forgot we uh, had a thing on Transoxiana. And. Got these guys standing around. Go do your thing. Alright, ticking war scores coming up. Really not fast enough. Um. Where is... Is he the guy that we'd sent down there? No, he is. Can't get through Hindus. Hindu stand anymore. Well, that's fine. Um, where can we get? Nowhere. And, god damn it, Kiwa are free from Milan. Kiwa... Had this guy standing right here. He just didn't want to do it. Didn't I just declare war on them? Alright, get up there with uh, Otto, since he couldn't find his way through Hindustan. Alright, uh, we're at speed 5. Bring that down a notch. Have to Diplo, kill the guys. He thinks he's doing good over there. We can just spread the Catholic faith and kill one. Oh, good on you, buddy. Wonder when he converted. Oh no, because he's capital. Huh. Alright. Um, boundary disputes. Can you play him on Russia? Sure. And Croatia died. So who was this released from? I don't have their claims anymore. So take it ourselves. Can get over there to destroy them, which has to happen anyway. I'll wait until the middle of the fight. Destroy their country. No, he's rejected it. All right. Well, their army's dead anyway. It's going to make the uh, coring take longer. Hmm. Well, it'll come to us no matter what. All right, no diplomats. Now we do. Sue for peace and get rid of them. Again. So, Africa's back to being ours. Let's get off there. And do the autonomous suppression like you were supposed to do before. So at least just finish converting them. Alright, that cause, etc, etc. Independence for Scotland. In Lothian. It's a bit rude, given that Scotland's our vassal. And he's just standing there looking at it. Alright, um, Portugal, come on, minus eight. What was that about, Ryukyu? Koreans, that's the ships. Yeah, weird. Here's a tributary of Ming at war with Korea and a captain Diplo. Alright, uh, what do you do with Diplo? You promote mercantilism. On to 50. Mm 
Finish an 18, 18. Yeah, we'll be able to finish them in time. All right. Uh, actually, we're getting some land from these guys too, aren't we? Like Goa. I'll lose a few ducats. It's still over half a million anyway. And then, yeah, she'll be able to finish this. Cool. And Bavaria died. Alright, we'll kick it up to speed five. Alright, go with Bagamoyo. <clears throat> Italians and Afghans. Finishes in March of 1821. Yeah, unfortunate. And now we're good for finishing them off. Alright, we've managed to convert Tunga. Which means... Go, 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 and go soon. There's a little of that. Um, why can we not do the Azores? Province is under siege. Oh, it's whoever's left over. Portuguese separatists. That is fine. So go for Jinhua. Get the marriages. Accept, accept. We get colonial Caribbean, colonial Brazil, and colonial Peru. Now that uh, Portugal don't exist anymore. All right. Don't know why I'm bothering to do that because we're going to push this button. So Renovatio Imperii. Firstly got 1630 I think that should be okay although we have built up a bit more since but um, yeah we'll have a look all right renovate in the year of our Lord 1818 the most serene Augustus Johanna the first von Habsburg Romanorum, Romanorum Imperator crowned by God has again convened the estates of the Holy Roman Empire the deal has agreed to a motion to unite the disparate states of the Empire into a nation state and recrown the Empress as its hereditary ruler claim the crown we get extra 5% national tax and one <laughs> prestige per year. Okay. Crown. And now we're in Empire as well. So a cultural union with German. Okay. Throne inherited. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> 50 something, 60 something, lost count, keep going, 70, 71, 77, okay. So, very much a white world. Oh, look what um, France is doing to Australia down there. Alright, so, conversions to Catholic, and there's a bunch of stuff now. We have apparently can't count that there it should still tell us in here though <laughs> right yeah we inherited the Pope anyway um, I want to see how many Cardinals that's up here from controlled Cardinals 24.5 which means we have 49 Cardinals let's invest papal influence yeah it says right there doesn't it um, now I've got a better chance of winning it okay we can make more states, really. Why can we make more states? We've got 377 territories. We get to do 10 more. Oh, because we became an empire. Fair enough. Now, money has halved because we're not getting trade. No, we're still getting trade. We're not getting the um, vassal fees, which is weird. I think we get more money without it. And 439%. So, yeah, a bunch of stuff that wasn't finished. Which is probably mostly in there. Um, no way we're going to finish that. But that was why we wanted to wait for him to actually do it. That's fine. Um, go away. Disputed succession is not true. But there we go. Hey, Great Moravia. How do you think that we did that? That's wrong. But over a thousand at last. So, Great Moravia. You have to be a VAR to do that, don't you? It's not going to show up here because it's not actually possible. Live long and prosper. I'm really annoyed at that. Alright. Um, 
cowardly tactics, early modern, multiculturalism, narcissism, over a thousand Voltaire's. Yeah, it's not showing up in this list. Will it show up here? Yeah, as you can see, it's 1.40 a.m. So really want to uh, end this one here. But I want to say this. Um, Moravia. Yeah, has actually unlocked. Restore the great Moravian borders as Nitra or Moravia. So clearly we didn't do that. That's um, kind of bugged out. But okay, I was actually thinking of doing that one next. But didn't really want to. No, 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 no. All right, estates demand more. It's only the clergy. It's not too bad. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother playing through to the end because we're just going to have a few issues. Let's wait for all of this. Papal state. We'll never support such a state. Or should we give Rome back? Lose stability and everyone's opinion goes down. No, screw you guys. Colonial assemblies, etc., etc. All right. Um, you know what? Let's look at the ledger for once. See how many countries actually exist. Um, still quite a few. But most of them in Southeast Asia. Okay. So let's just have a look at the timeline. Firstly, we'll do it on uh, very fast. And it's not going to show much for a while. Can't remember the start of this game. We were expanding a bit. We got the thing on Hungary, then lost it, then got it back. Let's look at just Europe. It takes a while before you get out anywhere else. Although, we don't know what happens in the new world. Yeah, Russia went through pretty quickly. Is that six? No, it's still 200 years. But he's big there now. Austria and Russia began. the Ottomans blobbed and then we started going to war with them and they stopped blobbing a very wide area over there and start slowing down here Sweden and everything became ours watch Russia start disappearing and yeah, spots in Ming start appearing there we go Austria and Western Europe and little spots down in here. It's a bit hard to tell that we're doing all this because it's all different colours anyway. And here's where Ming started falling apart. Alright, and 15. 17. As soon as we get to uh, September. There we go. Bam! Yeah. Close the timeline. So, how did everything else end up? The religion. We've got a Sunni in there. Sunni in Russia. Okay. Um, mostly Catholic. I mean, Europe was Catholic pretty well. Africa became Catholic everywhere except for Ottomans. Uh, New World was all Catholic. That's just rebels. A little bit of animus, but that's just because nobody actually bothered to do that. Still claimed by France. And yeah, Tengri over there, bits and pieces around the place, but did pretty well. Um, how did we end up with, what was I going to look for? The trade. 1500. Transferring trade power to us is all our guys. Yeah, um, the guys are pretty ticked off because of mercantilism and everything. Yeah, just nothing to hold them back anymore. That's why you want to hold off as long as you can on that. But the actual trade power in here should now be 99% pretty much everywhere. Who is getting this? No, that just hasn't updated. Right, they'll run to November. And Portuguese separatists. Trade goods changing. Okay. Subjugation of the papacy happened. And yeah, now it's up to 100% in most of Europe. Okay. Uh, that was the thing. We got more f f land for some, but yeah, 1637. That was pretty much what we were uh, before we did it. So that worked out well. Okay, well, I'm calling this one here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and hope to see you again soon with a new campaign. All right, see you later.